All right, so how do you build sales and marketing alignment in your CRM? We're going to go through some use cases in HubSpot, but don't panic if you don't use HubSpot. We're going to cover principles that cut across any sort of CRM. I also want to acknowledge that this room may have sales leaders, business owners, we are in the grow your business track, um, but don't feel like if you're not using the CRM, this doesn't apply to you. It's really critical as a sales leader and a business owner to understand the impact that sales and marketing alignment has on growing your revenue and scaling your business. Now Jeremy's covered a first, uh, the first few buckets here. I'm gonna really dive into lead management strategy and a standard lead management process. Okay, when we get this right, it starts to solve some of those pain points that we heard in the beginning when we were going back and forth talking about what, what's really painful for marketing and what's really painful for sales. So alignment is going to help really solve those pain points. So in terms, when we talk about lead management, who in the organization is responsible for lead management? Is it sales? Is it marketing? Or is it both? Who thinks sales? Raise your hand. Who thinks marketing? Who thinks both? All right, everyone paid attention to today's title. So yes, it is, it's both. Both have a role in lead management, and it's really critical that both parties understand what their roles are. Another critical piece to understand when you talk about lead management is having a very solid understanding of the buyer journey. Does everybody know what the buyer journey is? I think we've heard it over the last few days. A buyer journey is the buyer's path to purchase. It's their experience. So if you think about your own purchases, whether it's a car, think about the last time you bought a car, an appliance, an electronic device. Who here did no research whatsoever and said, let me talk to a salesperson directly to tell me what to buy? Nobody does that. In fact, if you saw Jody Williamson's presentation the other day, we saw that 72% of people don't even want to engage with sales, except for the people here, 72% of people don't want to engage with sales. So if you think about what's happening with the buyers, they're doing their own research just like you do. And you do that online a lot of times. You're going to websites, you're downloading brochures, you're going to social media. This is all done in a digital environment. So now the buyers are coming further down the funnel and you see now this bigger overlap between marketing and sales. At the same time, we have what Jeremy talked about, the marketing qualified lead and sales qualified lead handoff. So right in this area here is where your lead management strategy is either going to shine or it's going to completely fail. So this is why it's important to have that alignment to really make sure that we are meeting the buyer where they are in the journey, that marketing and sales are working together to meet the buyer where they are in the journey. And I'm gonna give you an example of that. So we ran a campaign at Sandler. We were doing a sales leader training. We created a checklist to download the keys to successful sales leader training. We had a lead, they downloaded the checklist. Marketing followed up, invited them to a sales leader training experience to give them a little taste of what that would look like. The lead registered for the training. The lead attended the training. So in marketing's mind, this was a lead that had engaged in three meaningful ways. They downloaded materials, they registered for an event, they attended an event. In our minds, this is a marketing qualified lead. We handed the lead over to sales. Now, unfortunately, it was a new salesperson, and they obviously weren't Sandler trained. They responded to the lead by saying, have you ever heard of Sandler before? After getting that far down in their journey, they got an email back that said, have you ever heard of Sandler before? Now, have you guys ever been to a party and met somebody several times in a row, and then you see them the fourth time, and they're still saying it's nice to meet you? Right? Think of what that's like. You've met this person three other times, and they're still saying it's nice to meet you. It's a real disconnect in how you feel about that person or how you feel about that company when you get that kind of message. This is why a good lead management process is critical to ensuring that alignment, to ensuring that we can meet the buyers where they are in their journey. And you can do this right in your CRM. Now there are five major components here. You have your lead, gener excuse me, you have your lead generation. This is where your lead enters the CRM. 
Then you have your lead organization. This is where you're going to segment and organize your leads, right? So if you're Sandler, that could look like SMB versus enterprise. If you're a pet food company, that could look like cat owners versus dog owners. Thank you for watching this highlight video from the Sandler Summit. You can join us for the next Sandler Summit in 2024, March 19th and 20th at the Orlando World Center Marriott. Register now at sandler.com summit.